softly line off the end of the bat, but it dunks into right field. Posada will pull up in second. Ichiro stumbles in right field. And usually ultra graceful Japanese right fielder lost his footing out there. Coming up with a base hit by Soriano. Yeah, but the respect and his reputation as far as that throwing arm is concerned is the reason Posada didn't even think about going to third. I really thought Posada could have got there easily because the ball was blue. Ichiro was playing deep and in right center to keep the ball from getting through the gap. Look at Posada. There he's made up his mind. But right as he got to the bag, he goes, oh, wait a minute. Ichiro's out there. I've seen that right arm of his and how he can get the ball to third in a hurry. I better stay put. Basada also take anybody. Reminds you of Jim Carrey. Deep drive hooked into right field headed for the wall and it slams into the bottom part of the fence. Basada heading for second. Ichiro's throw oh, attack oh, oh. and not in time. He may have slid away from the tag. It looked like a perfect throw from Ichiro and here comes Lou Pinello with the first argument. Of the ALCS, he wants to know why is Posada not out at second base, but it's a double. In the past, Lou Pinella might have been thrown out on a play like this. The throw certainly beat him, but it was a tremendous slide by Posada, who looked like he got in there. And the, the problem was where Guillen caught the ball. That throw was on the money. Take the throw on the bag. Don't go get it. It takes too much time to get back to it. Look at where he's at. Why isn't he on the bag? If he's on the bag, he catches it there. He makes the tag. He's out. But Gary Cedarstrom was right because of what Guillen did. He's safe. That was the right call by Cedarstrom. It was absolutely the wrong right. Wrong positioning by the shortstop. Now, Chris Guillen has been out for two and a half weeks. And he's flying out today, the 2 1 pitch. Get deep to right field. This one has a chance to get out. Sailing to right, it's gone. Joe Torrey got a superb effort out of his starter. He's given up just two earned runs in 14 and a third postseason innings so far. They're getting great work out of the lefty. Now this left-hand hitter, Ichiro, is grounded out twice and struck out. Looked into left. That's going to fall for a hit. Should be extra bases up against the side. Ichiro rumbles into second with a double. Not only did he get more hits than anybody else in baseball this year, but he can get hits against the very best. And that's what he just did there. It doesn't get any tougher than Mariano Rivera in the ninth inning in a safe situation. Ichiro worked the count. He made Rivera get the ball up so that he could finally get it in the air and keep it off the ground. Get it out of that infield. Actually, just the athleticism of Rivera. Off the glove of Posada. That one sails to the backstop, so Ichiro will move up. Ichiro at third, and it's up and in. It's off the catcher. Here comes Suzuki. He scores. Particularly early in the season, really. Side in order. Tops in baseball. Ichiro puts it in play up the middle, and it gets by Jeter. His second hit of the series, but he starts the ball game with a base hit. Really surprised with the sequence there by Mike Mussina after he got ahead in the count. Let's take a look at it. First pitch fastball to Ichiro. All right, a little breaking ball on the outside corner. Now watch this. Look at him changing the eye level. Tries to go upstairs again. Ichiro is late on that pitch. There's another fastball. Now watch what he does. There's a changeup. When he was late on your fastball, why throw a changeup that gives him an opportunity to put it in play? He 45 with runners in scoring position. They're not going to let him hit. They're going to walk him with first base open. And Mark McLemore is up next. He'll be up there trying to tie it up. A gapper by McLemore could not only tie it, but maybe give Seattle the lead. But it's a chance you take, and I think it's the right move to make on the part of Joe Torre.
Little blooper. That's falling. It's falling, but a catch made by Suzuki. A terrific sliding stab by Ichiro. We'll move on to the bottom of the ninth inning. Ichiro flashing some leather. Will it be enough? The Yankees, three, Seattle, two. He won seven consecutive gold gloves in the Oryx Blue Wave career in Japan. He's going to win another one. And probably a lot more to come. He also won seven batting titles. Well, he won another one of those. Find Ichiro standing on third base. He walked only 30 times during the regular season, but he walks here. Third walk given up by Clemens with one down. Take a look at how the Rocket went about Ichiro during his second at bat. We know he struck him out on the first one. There's just a little get over breaking ball. He had not seen that yet. Now he's going to move it. Get him off the plate so that you can try to get him out on the outer half. That doesn't work with Ichiro. Look at the knowledge of the strike zone this man has. He was frustrated. That high fastball called for strike two. But, and now. He really four bases and 40 chances. In fact, that's a very high attempt for him at 40. He's back. It moves when he normally goes to home. Almost getting. Look at it go in. See him pick the heel up right there. If Ichiro was going there, he would have leaned in the direction of second base, and that pickoff might have worked. Is it a balk? Sure it is. But with Roger Clemens on the mound at Yankee Stadium, it's not going to be called very often. No, Ichiro is, has a green light. He can steal whenever he thinks he can. Here between Clemens and the base runner right now. If it's a fastball for a strike, McLemore needs to swing to protect him. What was planned? Runner not going. It was a pitch out, I think. Not a one strike count. Another one. Henry McLemore, 206 hitter off Clemens. Runner goes. Inside Orde Posada, no chance. I don't even know why he slid or why he threw. 53 pitches now to the plate. Six throws to first base trying to get Ichiro. I would say he's more than done his job. Now Matt is a very big out right there and a comebacker. Jeter. Ichiro. He speaks more English than, than he lets a lot of people know. I him last night. One oh delivery to him from Pettit a broken background ball Pettit knocked it down but he's not going to have a play if he had let that go by Jeter would have gotten at least one out he throw a single an RBI and it's nine to three Jose Paniagua out of the bullpen Jeter to right each had just moved over there from left field and a